Good morning, YouTube. You can probably tell by my bags. I've only been awake about, and my voice. It's like a a 50 year old with, who smokes 400 fags a day um, I've not long been awake, it's my day off last night I went to bed right, and I heard this story return for access to his office what's going on? I've got the ship to control so uh, that's why the doors got me where's the ship? the ship is right, right inside here it can contain contact details can, I think it can do a lot of other stuff in the future. The new offices will soon host a shifting population of 700 entrepreneurs and employees, and they'll all be offered the chance to get chipped if they wish. As well as opening doors, that will allow them to use the photocopiers and eventually to log on to computers or pay for food in the cafe. Now, I think it's only fair that in the interest of research, I myself get chipped. I'm told it isn't going to hurt, but I've still got just a few reservations about it. Um, Let's go. The technology is still having TV problems. I've had it quite a struggle to activate the photocopier. It's just not really working. And amongst the people working here, I found some enthusiasm, but also caution. Well, at the moment, I will not be fishing. Because I don't feel that it's necessary for opening doors or connecting with machines. Hi, Emma. Uh, can I get your contact? The man behind the scheme, whose business card can be accessed via his chip, says the aim is to learn lessons. We want to be able to understand this technology before big corporates and big governments come to us and say, hey, everyone should get chip, the tax, uh, tax authority chip, or the, the Google chip, or Facebook chip. Another feature of this unconventional office, dogs are welcome. I've been chipped, and you've been chipped too. But while we're used to having our pets chipped, putting technology under our own skin may be a step too far. Rory Catherine Jones, BBC News, Stockholm. I wake up this morning, and they're having a discussion about this story. Last night, I caught this story about chip and pins, and this morning, they're talking about it as if it's technology. How about people? How about human beings? How acceptable it is to them? You fucking idiot. What a fucking dick. What a fucking complete dick. It won't ever be fucking popular. Oh dear me. No, you wouldn't. You've got any morals, any common sense, and any fucking anything up here in your head, a brain, you will say no. Now I'm really, really 
really pissed off okay I'm pissed off because this is everything we've been warned about everything I don't want to live in a world like that I would rather be dead than living in a world like that right and it seems that we're going to be living in a world like that because you the public show apathy 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 and a bit more fucking apathy but when it's rolled out you're all complain and moan about it's infringement of your fucking privacy it's an infringement of that it's infringement of this but what they'll do right is to sell it to you they'll tell you if your child is chipped you'd be able to find them if they got stolen or if they went missing or if you lost something and you'd be able to jump a queue for this and you'd be able to you know pay for stuff by just walking out the shop all this crap absolute fucking serious to god right seriously seriously right we're in trouble we're in trouble now okay because this i've heard this story before this story is it, it's close it's close to actually becoming real and if people don't start fucking acting then your enslavement is your own fucking fault can't say that I haven't sounded off about it. You can't say that I haven't tried to do something about it. You can't say that I haven't even thought of considered human beings. You can't say that I'm an uncaring person who has not tried to inform people of the wrongdoings of the fucking government. But oh no, me, me, I'm cast off as insane and fucking, you know, outspoken, all these other things. Oh, Nina's a bit different. Is is a bit different. Nina's a bit different. That's that, that's basically what happens. Okay? Now I I might feel as if I don't fit into a group of society because of the brainwashed fucking induced trance that most people are in. Right, but I'd rather be like this than to be a meh like the rest of the fucking world. But seriously, right, if any of you have got any ounce of humanity left in there and you're not a fucking robot, act now. Not next week, now. I don't even know if peace, love and light should even fucking come into this. You know what else? I've missed a perfectly good sunrise because this story is more important. Probably can't see over there. The sun is coming up and it's beautiful and it'd be lovely. But no, I'm at home vlogging about something that's more important to humanity than a fucking sunrise. you 